Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another money box review and you the viewers have asked me to show you how to change and customize your investment portfolio, how to change the allocation. So I'm gonna show you by screen recording my phone and we'll do that a little bit later on in the video. Some other exciting news when it comes to money box is if you are already a user, you may have received an email where they have announced that they have launched a brand new range of ETF funds. So this is really exciting because it makes Moneybox so much more competitive to the likes of eToro, Trading212 and Free Trade. And if you've watched any of my previous reviews, which I'll pop up on the screen at some point, is that I've been with Moneybox for about two and a half years. I really enjoy their platform, simple to use. There's bonuses such as retail discounts. They offer like a future discovery so you can see what you're gonna have in 10 years. You can then change your allocation and it incentivizes you to keep adding to your stocks and shares ISA, which is what we're talking about today and is, is what I use. It also has a pension uh, collection feature. So if you've got pensions out in the world that you've not reclaimed, then basically you can put it all in one pot with Moneybox, which is really nice because there are so many pensions out there which people do not collect. And of course, there is the roundup feature. So those are the, the big pointers when it comes to Moneybox. But what is really exciting is this new range of ETF funds, which we'll also get onto. But first, I'm gonna show you how to customize your investment portfolio. I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I invest in the funds, and explain my kind of strategy when it comes to cost averaging into the stock market. And also something you're gonna to want to think about if you are using Moneybox is how you then change your allocation the older you get. Because obviously the closer you come to retirement or whenever you look to withdraw your stocks and shares is that you're gonna to wanna to tailor and just reduce your risk. So if you're exposed in high equity investments, then you're gonna to wanna to slowly reduce that into corporate bonds, government schemes, and obviously cash holding. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but let's um, let's just hop onto my phone screen and I'll show you how to customize and edit your investment portfolio. Okay, so starting on your Stocks and Shares ISA account, at the bottom you'll see it says, this week, discover an account. Click on accounts, go to your Stocks and Shares ISA, three dots at the bottom, and go to allocation. The likelihood is you've already been entered into one of three which Moneybox already provides for you, which is cautious, balanced, and adventurous. And before we jump onto my allocation, let's just have a look at those. Because if you're not too clued up on the stock market or you, you're not that bothered about really customizing it, you might wanna go with one of these options. So cautious essentially is keeping you in a higher cash holding and corporate and government bond holding. So therefore, as the markets change or something happens around the globe, you're not really gonna be shook too much in regards to your investment portfolio. And then you, if you scroll down to the bottom, historical returns, cautious um, on average is a 4.1% return annually. If we go on balanced, again, very similar almost to the um, like Vanguard life strategies where they have a 60, 40, 70, 30 and 80, 20 where it's high equity um, and then low bonds. Historical returns for the, um, the balanced, 10.9%. Obviously you can see year by year it fluctuates. If you go adventurous, which is higher equity, higher global uh, markets, 12.3% average return. Now if we go on mine and just to quickly take a look at what I'm investing into, Let's run through this. So Fidelity Index World Fund at 40%. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of exposure to global companies, big companies around the world. I've got the Vanguard FTSE 100, so obviously 100 of the best uh, performing UK companies through their exchange traded fund. I've got the Vanguard S&P 500, so obviously five of the best companies uh, that are performing in the US, 15% exposure. Global Health and Pharmaceuticals Index, so this is key really, because if you think over the pandemic, all those health and pharmaceutical companies that took off just goes to show how much growth there is um, for things that may happen in terms of pandemics, new flus, and obviously now companies in pharmaceuticals have a lot of growth yet ahead. Okay, so I wanna have some exposure to companies like that. And you can actually go into it. You can go into all of them, by the way, and then you can go on key investor information and it will tell you what performance it's had uh, over a period of time. Okay, so there's loads of information. I've got some technology index fund in there, global technology. Uh, and again, obviously what happened through the pandemic, it opened up companies to really advance. Uh, in regards to technology, we sped up massively. Okay, so it's good to have some exposure there. iShares Global Property Equity, 
and then I've got some corporate bonds just to have that, that slight uh, reduction in risk. And again, you can go in and it will explain what the fees are and what that fund is doing. My aim with this particular fund, okay, which I probably won't change, is to keep it balanced but uh, returning safely, securely, and consistently over years so I don't have to change it too much. But closer to retirement, I will. Now what I wanna show you here is edit allocation and we can actually add in more funds. So this is the exciting part, which money box, let me actually, let me just go back here. How do you change it? Well, you go on edit allocation and here is how you reduce it. So, you know, you can literally reduce it down. But what you have to do is if you want to increase something, you'd have to reduce another fund. That I would say is a slight con. It would be nice if we had a little bit more to play with. But of course, if you just want to change it, it's as simple as that, reducing one fund, increasing the other, okay? So very, very simple. This is the nice part about what Moneybox have gone and done is they've added these ETFs, okay? So big one for me is that adding Vanguard into this, okay? So many people uh, I know have left Moneybox to go and invest in Vanguard, but I know many people that have come off Vanguard to invest in Moneybox. So what else have they got in terms of ETF? Aging population ETF. Get exposure to companies that provide care and other needs to the world's aging population. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll hop off this and we'll jump onto my laptop. Okay, so this is the fun range on Moneybox's website. I'm not gonna read them all out, take a look yourself, hop onto their website. But some of the big ones that now stand out, which they've brought in as their new range, which is really appealing, I really like it, is we now have uh, the opportunity to inv invest into physical gold through the ETC, okay? So if you want exposure, especially through times like this where we have the Russia and Ukraine conflict going on, which has shook a lot of markets, crypto and the stock market, having exposure to gold, which tends to do very well um, through times of crisis, you can now do so, so you could add that to your portfolio. They've got a cyber security ETF, clean energy, uh, robotics and automation, which is you know uh, all to do with AI technology changes, uh, especially when we look at the metaverse, that may come in in the next five, 10 years, that will play a part as well, so good growth there. And again, it's all about diversification, getting as much exposure as one market dips and other rises. But the big ones for me is obviously the Vanguard FTSE 100, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, and they do have a UBS S&P 500. Okay, so these new funds, finally, it wasn't always like this, have finally now made Moneybox really competitive. So now it just comes down to deciding what platform you like. Um, I, I like Moneybox because again, it's simple. There's some cool features on here. They don't overcomplicate things. It's not all about blue, red and green and yellow charts that suck a lot of people in to make people think that they're a stock market trader or a Forex trader. I'm not bothered about that. I like to cost average, have a nice diverse portfolio, and something I will quickly touch on here is this. Um, so this is the Black Rock Life Path Moneybox Pension. So this is really cool. So if you're someone that wants to round up all your pensions, with Moneybox you can do that. And then what this does is this is almost like an automatic fund. Let's, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it here. But it's like an automatic fund that puts you in higher equities and as you come close to your retirement age, it reduces you more into cash holdings and corporate bonds. So you haven't actually got to touch it. That's something that's really nice and again, um, is very simple. So if you're just someone that wants to pump and dump money into the stock market, not get too involved, but look at it one, two, three years down the line to see what you've saved, Moneybox is brilliant for that. The other platforms are great. Um, I'm not knocking them, it's just that I prefer Moneybox. I hope this review has helped in terms of showing you how to change your uh, allocation. I invest uh, for the long term, and yes, as I get older, I'll slightly reduce. In fact, what I'll do, let me come off the laptop and I'll talk to you face to face. There we go, I hope that helps show you how you can customize and change your investment portfolio on Moneybox. As you saw, it was super, super simple. But if you did have any other questions, then please leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. Again, to summarize for me, it's about cost averaging into the market, keeping it simple. And if we listen to investors like Warren Buffett, he says that he would put most of his wealth and has done 
into the S&P 500 because it's very unlikely you can beat an index tracker. It's very hands-off, you don't have to worry about it. And as uh, the global economy changes and certain markets get shook, you don't really have to worry about changing your portfolio. So that's why I don't lean towards platforms such as eToro, Trading212, where you've got all the flashing lights, the green and red charts, and you can handpick companies. Because it's unlikely, as I'm not a professional, that I'm gonna outperform an ETF or an index tracker. It's just unlikely. So I like to keep it simple, know that I'm putting my money into a well-diverse portfolio, into companies that I'm aware of and I know what they're doing and also companies that have a lot of growth and I'm very comfortable in the allocation that I've picked. If you wanted to have a look at what I had chosen, go back on the video and you can see. Um, but there is no financial advice on this video. I do hope that it's helped. Please do hit like and subscribe and until the next video, I will see you all very soon.